Hey, welcome to a tutorial where I wanna show you how to build this screen and also specifically just this uh, glass effect. Um, we're gonna build a co-working app and this is sort of the design we want to end with. So I'm just gonna show you how to build this top section where it has this smooth, nice glass effect behind uh, the current meeting time. So first thing you need to do is create a page. Let's name it Glass Effect. Let's do it like that. Uh, we won't need this app bar. We will need this column. Um, for this, uh, we're just gonna do safe area null. Um, let's go ahead and drag a container in here. Set the width to infinity. And then for the height, we're gonna do 400. Uh, we're gonna grab another container. This is gonna act as our uh, little overlay. So we're not gonna do secondary, or if we do secondary, we're actually just gonna yeah, cut that. So we're gonna drag it in and we're gonna do an overlay. So 22% of that secondary color. And then let's go ahead and cut back here. We, we have this, we have our add widget panel detached here, and then our layer list here. Let's go ahead and select that first container. I'm gonna name it background image. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and grab my image link. Select the here, come scroll all the way down, background image, there you go, cool. That gives us that overlay effect. Now what we wanna do is drag a column in here. And we're gonna do a space in between for the column. Uh, we're gonna drag another column in and just give this a little bit of padding up top. Let's do 60. I'm gonna do 24 pixels padding on the left. And then what I'm gonna do is select this parent column, align left. Now, this column will house our text up here. Um, we had it sort of presenting, I think it said welcome or happy Monday, happy Monday. As you can see, this is spanning and then the second text is aligned left. So let's go ahead and select that column and make the cross axis alignment left as well. Uh, for this one, we wanted to have, oh, well, here, switch to light mode. We wanna make sure that we have both of these texts in white or a white equivalent. So I'm gonna do a custom color. And I'll share with you guys uh, this clonable so you can see how we built it, see the finished product. Um, I'm gonna do line color, but then I'm gonna just copy that because that's what I want. I don't want the line color, I just want that color for here. And then Andreas M. Cool. Now we want a container in this column. Let's drag that over. Infinity, let's go ahead and give it a height of 120. We also want to give it that sort of primary text um, color and then let's select it again. Let's bring the opacity down to 50% for this one. Cool. That gives us the overlay. I'm going to name this blurred container. Cool. And then what we want to do is if you right click this, you can wrap a widget or if you select it, just do command B. We're gonna wrap it in a blur element. Now, nothing's changed. So if you come over to the blur properties, do backdrop, and then change your sigma to five, and your sigma x to five, and your sigma y to maybe seven. Now we have that nice blur effect there. Now we can change this height to like 130 if we want. And then we had uh, a row here Let's do that. We're gonna do like 16 pixels padding there. And then we had a column here with more text. We could actually probably just, let's just do that. Let's select this column up here. 
and then select this row, paste it in. And then what you want to do is this one has a lot of padding, so we don't need that padding. Let's go ahead and remove it. There you go. On that column, let's go ahead and center align it. And then I'm going to change that to current meeting, font weight to normal. Design review. Cool. Okay, for now, we're going to leave it like this. Then in this row, let's go ahead and drag another container in. This container is just going to act as a divider, so we just want it to be two pixels width. Uh, we'll set the border radius so it has around corners. And then it's white. I just want to bring it down to like, I don't know, 20% opacity. Cool. I'm going to do 12 pixels and 12 pixels. Rock on. And then we want to copy this column again, paste it over here. Now what we want to do is, you can see we have an overflow here. We don't want that overflow. So let's select the first column, expand it, set the flex to 5, set, select the second column, expand it, select the flex to 5, and now our text will wrap. Um, as you can see, we still have an overflow here. Um, what, what we can do is select this blurred container and remove that height. And then we'll just sort of adjust to whatever padding we have. So uh, I think this is just like a time, a timer here. Let's, let's give four pixels padding to the bottom of this title. There you go. Cool. All right, there you go. And then for the bottom of it, I'm just gonna come over here, select this column, and paste it in here. Cool. And that's how you create a glass effect in Flutterflow. I hope you enjoyed this, and looking forward to seeing what you can build.